The Welcome Page The Welcome Page displays important information such as a calendar of my next 7 days and some important news. Users can post news simply by typing some text and pressing the Post button. The Chat Page on the chat page I can see the list of online and offline users. I can filter the users by division and teams. To start a chat, double-click on someone in the list, type your message in the message box, and press enter. Add more people to your conversation by drag and dropping someone in the chat panel. Drop an image in the text box to send a link image. Send links by dropping a folder or file in the text box. All sent messages are recorded in your history and can be reviewed later. The Calendar Page With the Calendar Page, producers and supervisors can create and edit schedules. Months are displayed continuously, so it's easy to see long projects. In the right-hand panel, I can choose to display only projects assigned to me, or to display all currently active and waiting projects. I can switch to the timeline view, and see how projects overlap. Calendars can be grouped by status, or by supervisor. To edit the calendar, just drag and drop the events. Double-click on an event to edit its description, time and location. Create an event by dragging from the start date to the end date. Schedules and events can also be edited in Timeline View. You can view how busy is a day, by turning on the heat map. Calendars can easily be exported as PDF files. Just select the calendar, and click Export. The Project Page In the Project Page, I can see useful information regarding a specific project, such as project notes, output format, and number of versions. I can also start a project group chat and discuss with everyone assigned to this project. I can switch projects using the project selection drop-down, and view its jobs and tasks by selecting the task tab. Click on a shot to see its tasks. Tasks have three states, pending, started and finished. Producers can add information for each shot's duration, length and description. To add a new task, type some text in the task box and press enter. I can then assign artists or teams to the task. I can also type add team or add name to create and assign tasks faster. Tasks can be filtered by team. Shots with tasks assigned to me are displayed with a small badge.
I can also create task images and draw on them. Shots and tasks can be exported to PDF and sent to clients. Project creation. To create a project, click on the plus icon. Enter the project information, and select a project image. I can then start adding some events to the calendar. Now let's assign some people to a project. Creating a shot list is very easy with QuickTime. Just drag and drop from QuickTime to the version name. Now I can start adding tasks. Shots can also be created manually, if no video is available. Google Calendar Sync Calendars and events are sent to Google Calendar. I can view my calendars and events from internet, and on my smartphone. Location and time are also sensed. Project folder structure. Within PostChat, producers and supervisors can create the project's folder structure. Security is automatically applied to the project, so users cannot delete or move the project by mistake. Project List Page Whenever I need to recover an old project, I can do it through the Project List Page. I can search by project name, production house or client. I can also filter by artist or producer assignment and sort and organize the results. The total days are computed using the first calendar event and the last event for each project. The post-it page. The post-it page is a way to store useful information. I can save images, links and text. To create a new post-it, click on the plus icon, and enter some text. Post-it are a great way to store scripts. The profile page. In the profile page, I can update my public information. I can set my name, phone number, email, website and photo. I can also see some statistics, such as the number of projects and tasks I finished and how many messages I received. Thank you.